Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 154. And we are on page number 93, working through the geometric formulas that you see there on the table there on the on page 93, on the top of the page there. And we are going, we are going to discuss today something known as a trapezoid. What is a trapezoid? Let's first take a look at the picture of it. This creature called trapezoid, what is it? Well, it looks something like this. We have a side here, a shorter side here and a longer side here and this side has to equal that side if it does not look equal I'm telling you that it is equal let's give them uh, this what is his name A, B, C and D and the length AB is equal to length CD and BC the line BC has to be parallel to AD that's the condition and if that's the condition, then what you will find is that, and they tell you that they will tell you the length of these segments, B to C, B to C. It doesn't matter whether you call them B1 or B2, it makes no difference. These are the two bases. In the book, I can't read the print, it's too small. Let's just call the top one B1 and the B2. And you will see that it makes no difference which one you call what, because at the end, what you will see is that we are simply taking their sum. So whether you say B1 plus B2 or B2 plus B1 doesn't make any difference which one you call B1 and B2, do you understand? So if that's the case, one more time, a trapezoid is a, is a shape where line segment AB has to be equal in length to the line CD. That's the requirement. That's the first requirement. And BC, this segment BC has to be parallel to AD. And if that's the case, then what you will find is that this distance from A to D, automatically, this distance A to D, automatically will be equal to this distance from E to D. This distance will turn out to be equal. Will not, they don't have to show it to you. It's understood that it will turn out to be equal. The question is how do we go about measuring its area? It's a very tricky situation. How do we go about measuring its area? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. What else do they give you? Well, they give us the height. They have to give us the height from here to here. I'm looking at my notes here because I just realized it's much simpler than I thought it was going to be. I had done it in a very roundabout way. And because something occurs to me right now, even though it's impromptu, I'm going to go out on a limb and actually do it that way. The, the, what I just came to my mind just now, impromptu. And then I'm going to do it the way I had prepared it in my notes and we'll see whether or not they both come out to be the same thing. So watch what happens. We are interested in figuring out area. Well, this part is very simple. The area of this part is very simple. It's simply height, height times B1. Remember this B2 is not from here to here. This B2, let's, let's rewrite it here. The B2 is this distance right here, from here to here. So that entire distance is what we're calling B2. This is B1. So this side times the height, which is this part right here, is the area of that square. Let's make a note of it. So the square part is simply, the area of the square is simply B1 times the edge. So that is done. Now, if I can figure out the area of this triangle, the area of that triangle is the same. They are the equal triangle, they are the exact same triangles. Let's talk about the area of this triangle. This is where things are going to get a little tricky, okay? You're going to have to pay attention, otherwise you will not catch it. The height is very simple. Height is given to us. Height is, height is right from here to here. We are told that it is H. It's simple. The height is very simple. It's H. Question is, what is the base? What's the base of triangle ABD? The base of the triangle ABD is the same as the base of triangle ABD. Since we're going ABD, we have to go BCE. D, 
C, E. We have to go in the same sequence. A, B, D. A was the point that is sticking out, so it's going to be D. And then this was the top part, so that's the corresponding point is C, and then E. Are you able to see that this distance, in other words, the distance AD, distance AD is same as the distance ED. But the question is, how much is it? If we can figure out the base of this thing, we can figure out the area of one of the triangles. If we can figure out the area of one of those triangles, we can simply multiply by two because we have two of them, and simply add to that figure and we are done. But the question is, how do we go about finding the length of this, the side ED? Let's talk about it, shall we? We have already done, we have already done the square. I'm going to erase this part. We already understand what a trapezoid is. I'm going to erase all of this thing. Let's talk about what it is. Well, we are interested in figuring out this distance right here, A to D. That's what we are trying to figure out, A to D. This, this is what we are trying to figure out right now. Well, the whole thing is B2. The whole thing is B2. If you subtract B1 from it, okay, keep listening. If you, sub, if you take B2 and subtract B1 from it, what we are left with is this part and that part. You see that? One more time. If you take the entire length of B2 and subtract from it B1, what we are left with is AD plus ED. This thing is equal to AD plus ED. But we don't want the sum of the two, we just want the base of one of the triangles. Well, one of the triangles is going to be half that amount. So A to D, because AD, because, because AD is equal to ED, right here. Therefore, this means therefore, this, this symbol means therefore. Since AD is equal to ED, therefore A to D must be half of that B2 minus B1 over 2. One more time. This entire length is B2. If we subtract from B2, B1, we get this length and that length, sum of the two. We don't want the sum of the two, they are equal to each other, but we don't want their sum, we just want one by itself. But that's going to be half of that, B2 minus B1 over 2. So we have the base of the triangle. We have the base of the triangle, B2 minus B1 over 2. That's the base of the triangle. Therefore, the area of the triangle ABD, ABD, area of the triangle ABD is simply one half base, which is this, B2 minus B1 over 2 times the height. And we have two of them. Two of them. So the area of the two triangles, area of the triangle ABD, area of the triangle ABD plus the area of the triangle ECD ECD must equal two times this amount. Maybe I shouldn't make it so complicated. Let's start again. This was what we just did just here, area of ABD. Area of triangle ABD. Therefore, therefore, the area of the triangle ABD plus the area of the triangle ECD ECD would have to be two times this amount, two times this amount right here, one half times B2 minus B1 over 2 times H. Are you with me? We see the two in the bottom, we see two on the top, it cancels out and what we're left with is this part right here. We're almost done. Let's add them up. We already know the area of the square, that area plus this area and we're done. area of the square we know is B1 times H. B1 times H plus this guy right here. B2 minus B1 over 2 times H. What do we notice? We notice that we have H as a common factor. We have H as a common factor. Now that I'm doing all this thing I'm realizing that this is too much algebra. This is way too much algebra than I expect you to be able to handle. So if you're not understanding it, if you're not catching it, don't worry about it. At the end you will see the formula and that's all you have to memorize. H is a common factor, let's take it out of the common. H is a common factor, let's take it out common. If we take it out common, we are left from the first term, we are left with B1. And from the second term, we are left with B2 minus B1. B2 minus B1 over 2.
Well, we need to add them. If you want to add them, they have to have common denominator. This one has a denominator of 1. B1 has a denominator of 1. This one has a denominator of 2. That won't do. They have to have common denominator before we can add the figures. So let's make the denominators common. Let's make the denominators the same by multiplying this first figure by 2 over 2. Now we can add them. So we have h on the outside. We have a denominator of 2 here. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 1 is 2. So we have a common denominator of 2. And here we'll end up with 2 times b1 is 2b1. Plus, we can open this parenthesis, b2 minus b1. Close the parenthesis. And 2b1 minus the b1 is just 1b1. So we end up with b1 plus a b2 over 2 times h. There we go. That's it. That's the area of a trapezoid. If you want to find the area of something like this, you simply take the height and you multiply it by the average of the two bases. This space and that base, you, you take the average of the two bases. b1 plus b2, they take the average by dividing by 2 and that's it. That's your area. Right here. Do you understand? And that's all there was. That's all there is. Let's do an example, shall we? For example, let me erase this thing so we can put a new one. But this is what you have to remember. You don't have to worry about the derivation. For example, if you are given something like this, We are told that this shorter, this shorter line is, which is what we call B1. That's we are told that this is six centimeters. The longer line, the longer base, which is we call B2, is equal to nine centimeter. And as I told you before, it doesn't matter which one you call B1 and which one you call B2, because they are being added. It's not going to make any difference. And what else do we need to know? Well, we need to know the height. The height we are told is. 8 centimeter. They have to give this much information to us. They have to give us the two bases and they have to give us the height. Once we have all of that thing we can figure out the area. Area is equal to height times the average of the two bases. Well height we know is 8 centimeter times the average of the two bases. Average of 6 and 9. 6 plus 9 over 2 centimeter. 6 plus 9 is how much? 6 plus 9 is 15, so 8 centimeter plus 15 over 2 centimeter. Oh, it's not plus, it's multiplied. Sorry, I made a mistake. It's multiplied, they're not being added, they're being multiplied. Well, that makes our life actually easier. That makes our life easier. Where did I put the red one? Right here. That makes our life actually easier, because if they are being multiplied, if they are being multiplied, then we have an 8 on the top here, we have 2 on the bottom here. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. 2 is going to cancel away, cancel, cancel out and 8 is going to become 4. 4 times 15, 4 times 15, the area of this guy is 60 squared centimeter. 4 times 15 is 60 squared centimeter. And that's your answer. But the part that you have to remember is that one more time is this formula right here. You don't have to worry about the derivation of it. You just have to remember the area of a trapezoid is simply height times the average of the two bases. In the next video, we'll talk about something equally nasty. How to go about figuring out the area of a rhombus. See you tomorrow, okay? I know.